It's a big moment in any lad's life the day he starts work, and young Ronald's got something to swank about. The other boys who left school with him haven't got a smart uniform to wear like his. Ma's proud too. She knew as soon as they saw the notice smart lad wanted that this was just the job for her Ronnie. Messenger boys must make a good impression wherever they go, so they are inspected at the beginning of the day as thoroughly as troops on parade. First customers are already beginning to roll up, and the lads will be kept on their feet for the rest of the day. A businessman has an urgent letter to be taken to the city. That's a nice easy job for a lad who knows he's London. That bag will see a lot of wear and tear before the day's out, and so will the boy's legs. Now it's Ronnie's turn next. What's his first job going to be? Rushing some important document round to the House of Commons? Keeping someone's place in the first night theatre queue? No, nothing as exciting as that, but a great deal more use to a harassed mother who's been called away suddenly and has no one to take baby for a walk. Yes, they see life from all sorts of different angles, these messenger boys. This time, it's Fritz the aristocratic Dachshund who needs his daily constitutional. It's Ronnie's lucky day. He's come in for a job that made the other boys envious back at the office. He's getting away for a few hours from the noisy London streets to take an urgent package to a remote country district. The gentleman said it must be delivered at once, or his life wouldn't be worth living. Ah, this looks like the place. If people must live so far away, they might keep the roads a bit better. But tired feet are forgotten when he sees how delighted he's made one youngster. So Uncle didn't forget her birthday present after all. back home again. Oh, it's been a busy day, and he feels as if he's walked a hundred miles. But that's all over now. Isn't he a man, a wage earner? And what a lot of things he's got to tell the others. Here, come on, son, take my chair. You must be tired. Well, Dad's never said that before. Ronnie's two sisters have dropped in to see how their young brother has made out on his first day. Oh, well, there's nothing to it when you know the job. Of course, not everyone can do it. It takes experience. One day he'll be manager. Till then, it's nice to have other people running around doing things for him for a change. 